We use the word revolution because this is a revolution. The natural versus the throne breaker. Brother versus brother. This is one of the most emotionally charged matches that I've ever been a part of. Figure four. I don't need a friend. I need my older brother. Cody, I do respect you. But I don't think for one second I'm gonna kiss your ass and take a photo with daddy. Some of you may not know me, but after I hand Cody his first loss in AEW, You'll have no excuse but to remember my name. You know, I spent some time this afternoon, I will admit, with Darby Allen. At first, I didn't really want to converse with him because I thought his eyes looked glazed over and he didn't seem to be stable. And half of his face was painted when exactly. he showed up to yeah. the building. And then I, I, I've read so much about him in the last several days that maybe he needs to talk to somebody. Oh, I don't know. This is a very conflicted, unique young man. He's got amazing talents, ladies and gentlemen, but his life, and you can tell the story as easy as I can, he was in some traumatic things as a child that scarred his ass for life. Darby Allen was in a car accident with his uncle. His uncle was behind the wheel. He was drunk behind the wheel, and that car accident cost his uncle his life. Darby put his trust as a five-year-old child in his uncle. And now with that body bag, Cody one and one. He's emphasizing the record yeah. of Cody Rhodes. Darby yeah. Allen. This about is set for one fall. Curtain in the ring from Seattle, Washington. Weighing 173 pounds, Darby. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia. He is the American Nightmare, Cody with Randy. Expected to be able to come on on top. 
top here, but if he does, if he does in fact make Cody one and one, boy, would that shake the core of AEW. What are the look on this kid's face, folks? I'm gonna tell you. I passed on a conversation with him earlier today. I, had, I took advantage of the second time around. He's uh, got issues, to say the very least. That's not Russell's feet. But he seems focused. Yeah, well. Focused on the task at hand, JR. When he started conversing, he became very articulate. He's, he's got he's got a brain now. Oh, he's, he's exceptionally smart. He's just extremely introspective. That's the thing. When I said earlier that he doesn't care about anybody else, that's not selfishness. That's just he feels like he can't trust anybody else. That he is his own master, and that everything he does, win or lose, is in service of himself and his own success. He wanted to become a professional skateboarder. He did it. He wanted to become a professional wrestler. He did it. And now he wants to become one of the top names here in AEW, and he has the opportunity to do so at Cody's expense. Rhodes, that uh, advantage size-wise and height, leverage strength should be in Cody's favor. And but that speed, JR, that's the thing that's going to separate Darby Allen from Cody in this matchup. It's being able to move around the, the ring with relative ease. If Darby Allen's able to maintain this speed, I think we can see a, a closer matchup than I think a lot of folks might be expecting given Cody's athleticism and his strength. Yeah, just based on vis visual inspection alone, you would think that Cody has a distinct advantage in this, but Darby is so fast. He has international influences. He has wrestled in places, and he has wrestled opponents that Cody hasn't even seen, and he implements that in every part of his game. And he is indefatigable. He has gas for days. He just, I mean, he, I've never seen him slow down. So what Cody wow. needs to do is Cody needs to make Darby carry his weight. He needs to find his breaking point, his fatiguing point. Good points all. But uh, Darby Allen has got his, he's got a game plan he's gonna execute guys if it kills him, literally. I hate to say that, but. But that's, that's that indifference to pain. Doesn't care. Cody trying to single leg, former state champion of the state of Georgia, outstanding amateur record. That's right, two-time Georgia State wrestling champion. Maybe looking to implement that wrestling style into it, kind of like we see right there. That's where you ground somebody. Just that's wrenching him over. Yeah, that's a good headlock takeover. And you see capturing the left arm of Darby Allen to keep him down and make him carry his weight. Miss Aubrey Edwards is our referee, ladies and gentlemen. Second time we've seen her tonight, she's done a great job. How's all the fish have, by the way? Darby fighting back up. To a vertical position, but Cody just yeah. wrenching in with that side yeah. headlock. Darby backing him. Nope, doesn't back him in, just throws him off. Hits the ropes behind Cody. Unexpected. Went for the hip toss. The size advantage helps you right there then. Oh! Look at this. Oh, wow! Darby taking to the skies. Cody went for a hip toss. Yeah, that's gonna be some little frustrating for Cody. He just got out of there. Literally one of the most rudimentary moves in professional wrestling, and Darby just countering it in unexpected ways. And I wonder if he up to Andy. Cody's maybe thinking, ah, perhaps I shouldn't have taken this match. Or perhaps I should review, review, uh, review my game plan. That too. He's got, he's got to hit the single leg, get him on to get Darby out on the canvas. And you know, Allen, look at this kid. The obvious references to Kurt Cobain, him being from Seattle, are there, right? I mean, Cobain was a, a genius in his craft. That's right. Who knows? This kid, again, we talked about this kid. He's 22 years old, ladies and gentlemen. He's still growing, for God's sake. Not only does he have all the talent in the world, but he has such a long career. My straw. Lightning strike one, two. Two count only. And I don't know if you noticed it, he suckered Cody in with a handshake. Oh! oh. Frustration coming out uh, in this one. You know, you can't. To prepare for a kid like Darby Allen, you can't work out with a normal guy. Because I've never seen anybody that's quicker than this kid right now. He's quicker than a hiccup. Oh. That uppercut came from downtown. Now Cody just implementing a brute force strategy on Darby Allen. Oh, 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 oh man! Oh, a mud. Darby Allen's body broke his fall. 
his back and his neck and the back of his head. If I were the referee, I might want to check on him. Just saying. Oh. Winging him outside of the ring at the steel post and into the floor. What are doing push ups? They're now having some fun at Darby Allen's expense. Cody springing over the top to the floor. Darby, though, go the other way. Escaping into the, the relative safety yep. of the confines of the ring. As relative as relative can be. Chance Rick, wrist lock. Again, Le leverage and strength. Pro Wrestling 101. Yeah. Allen was reaching for an eye. I can tell that. But, yeah. And the thing is, with Dar Darby's background in professional skateboarding, he had to be an amateur skateboarder first. He had to fall more times. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that amateur skateboarding is big in Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> There's a cover by uh, Cody. Now he hooks the leg, as he said the first time around. Got a near fall out of it. And Darby Allen's like this creature that just won't go away. And he, it's almost like he's waiting for something, anything. I mean, who knows what that could possibly be, but so far, this has been all Cody. Once he managed to stop Darby Allen from running around the ring like a madman, he managed to get control of this matchup. Darby Allen's going to have to become a master at destroying vertical bases and getting bigger opponents off their feet. He's been fighting bigger opponents his entire life, and I think. Oh! Ooh. Just the, just racking the ribs. Cover. Here we go. Got a near fall. And you saw Cody place the forearm across the bridge of the nose of Darby Allen, trying to inhibit his breathing and also just uh, exerting his and will on the, a smaller uh, opponent. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's clarify this. I'm the alpha male. That's why my forearm is rubbing your nose. Does it hurt? Oh, I'm so sorry. Pain has been the only constant in Darby Allen's life. It's the only thing he can depend on. And so while he's being beaten up right now, it's, it's something that he's very familiar with. Is he? Okay, let me ask this maybe a really stupid question, but here's another one for you. Does Darby Allen enjoy being punished? Perhaps. I mean, I don't know. Figure oh, four. If he does, we'll find out. But this hurts. Just before the figure four was put down, he had targeted the legs there of Darby oh, Allen. For this. Gnawing at the bottom rope was Darby Allen. Who knows where that's been? Well, it was uh, a, little, a lot of oil in that ring earlier. So <laughs> Aubrey Edwards checking on Darby Allen. She's confident that he can continue. So this match will go on. Well, Darby, for Darby Allen to be into a match where it was stopped, and he he was oh, oh, continue. He would kill him. He would destroy his. And Cody says, "I'll take a count out here." Just, Give me a 10 cam. And this is actually smart wrestling by Cody. Yeah. I say actually, it's not a surprise. He is minimizing the, uh, the his his Opp his harm, his potential to be in harm, his opportunity to be injured. You're not going to get injured standing in the ring getting a count out. Well, he, Cody interrupts the count. That's going to continue the match. He, he knew that. Oh, oh, oh. That left hand was smashed right into the ring post. Now that could be a big, big factor in this matchup. And that might have actually been the wrist of Cody. It might have been. He's all going, he's going straight riding right now with a sense of urgency to end this thing because he knows he's in trouble. There's a cover. Oh. Referee's hand was coming down, he could see that. So it was a long two count. But uh, Darby Allen has discovered something here. He has created a window of opportunity for himself. And whether he knows it or not, he needs to capitalize. That was a moment of pure desperation for Darby Allen. Cody went for the strike, and then he just needed to make something happen. But as you guys had alluded to, does he recognize it? Does he notice that there's a problem at all? Turns him inside out there with that clothesline. And Cody not used to throwing the line with that right arm. Cover here, folks. Cover, dear Paul. Darby Allen just won't go away. Like I said, he's he's like that, that insect, that varmint. That you can't rid yourself off. Like a bad penny. And now Cody trying to lock the hands together. But he, we'll find out how bad his hands are right here. He can hold it, he's good. He can't hold it, he's not. 
Yeah, simple as that. So far, so good. Oh, oh, immediately, just as soon as Darby started getting up to his feet, Cody broke the grip. He couldn't hold it, and so there's something wrong, obviously. I played a doctor one time on television, and oh, I know these things. Knees. So what do you do when you want to strike? Well, if, you're right, if your left hand's messed up, you strike with knees, boots, and the right hand. And this is interesting, Cody returning back to this. Ten gone by, ten remain. As he is just trying to, again, make Darby carry his weight, but he's he's doing so in a fashion where he has to lock his hands together. I question the logic of Cody. Well, he's hard-headed. He's like his dad. Don't tell him you can't do something, because that's not going to work. So he's trying to tell himself, I'm okay, I'm okay, and trying to work through this thing, and you're not. Cody just dumping Darby over the top for that standing suplex. He's been throwing Darby around like a bag of laundry. The smelly kind, too. And Darby Allen, of course, on the, the lighter end of the spectrum here right. of, in, in weights in AEW. So it is to Cody's advantage. But like I mentioned, Darby's been facing bigger opponents his entire life. He knows that all he has to do is weather the storm and an opportunity will present itself. Oh, hear that one. Darby Allen has just been punished in this whole match. Yeah, and he stays upright. He stays in the hunt. <laughs> Darby Allen may be a lot of things, folks, that I have no idea of what they are. But I can tell you this, I know conclusively he's a tough son of a bitch that has no fear. End of story. He's got the tattoo at the at the base of his neck. It says relentless on it. And that tells the life story of Darby Allen. So far, has been relentless in this matchup. Relentless to continue to take punishment as well. I mean, it's, yeah, it's it's been it's been impressive. I think Cody, he's just he's in so much control here. And there you go, just holding him up right now. Blood going down. Oh, look at this, Darby. Oh, the left hand. Darby capturing that left hand. Darby Allen so he's still thinking. He grabbed that injured left hand. Not going to use it to his advantage. Trying to roll up on Cody. And finally, Cody. finally gets it. Oh, Darby, the tornado! One, two, two. upset! No! Oh. oh, and immediately going for the hand, yeah, the there's, fingers! There's, oh, a method, no. there's a method to this man's madness, without a doubt. Oh, oh! Another oh, hot shot right there the, the hand. savagery from that. Oh, and his head, too? Just brutalizing the left hand of Cody. Look at this angle. And, Twisting the wrist of Cody at a, such a grotesque degree. The arm is just not meant to bend that way, people. That could pop, break at any moment. Cody's got to continue to move around and try to find a some surcease in his punishment of this wrist lock. He is crawling on his hands and knees. Lunges out of desperation to the bottom row, which will necessitate a break. And Darby Allen milked it until the very last moment. You got to break on four because you get disqualified on five. And Brandy Rhodes looking on, great concern on her face, watching her husband just in absolute anguish. How can he not be concerned here? I mean, Darby Allen, he's now found his target. He's got to take advantage of it. Darby Allen's back in the hunt. Oh! He found his mark. Caution to the wind there. He just went for it like a dart through the ropes. Took a wild shot at Allen, but he found the bullseye. Oh! And now again, that left hand being focused on, being punished. Oh, oh man. Spine first. God. Spine first on the unforgiving steel steps. And now referee, nice job of checking to see if Darby Allen can continue. What, what's he gonna say to you? I can't. This guy does not seem like one of those people that is gonna say I can't in this situation. I agree. I agree. It is not part of his vocabulary. Cody knows that. And Cody keeping the pressure on Darby Allen Tope Suicida. Yeah. Well, that's uh, uncharacteristic, or perhaps it should be. Less is more of that for, for Cody with a bad left hand. He went to go grab him, too, and you can see immediately the anguish when he went to grasp him with his left hand. He's, Cody's got to be thinking, I really need to finish this now. Get this over with as quickly as possible. 
Now Cody turning in the corner. Cody, though, with both boots up. Rolls over the top of Cody Rhodes. Shotgun dropkick knocks Cody back to the corner. Darby charging in. Oh! The back elbow. Three quarter rolls him out. Rapid fire shots. Headbutt to the midsection. Darby rolls three. Hooks him up. Yes, he's done! One, two, no! Near fall. Great flurry of offense by Darby Allen. Five minutes remain in this match. Five minutes. Wow. Wow, this is about quick. Five We've minutes going for 15 Cody, minutes in this five. match. And yeah, Brady. Yoshi Tonic there by Darby Allen. Beautifully done. Pretty much non-stop action. But that's what Darby needs to do. He needs to string together combinations. Yeah. How fitting here at the Fighter Festival, CEO Gaming. Darby Allen headed up top, but turned his back on Cody for a moment too long. Yeah, that won't work. That will get you the pay when you turn your back on your opponent very often. Sometimes you can dodge a bullet, more often than not, you can't. This is not looking good. From the tippy top of the rope up there. Oh no. Oh, and very dangerous for both men. Oh very no. Very dangerous. Oh. Devastating. But on both men. Devastating on both men. And Cody holding that left hand or left wrist. Yeah, we don't know if it's bone, whether it's tendon, what it is. We just know that there's something wrong. He got a cover. Cody got the cover, and man, got it. Darby yeah. Allen just refuses to lose. He's just, he's hell-bent on whatever it takes and whatever price he has to pay to stay in this match. And enough time was spent as well. Cody on the other side of the ring after that incredibly painful and devastating move. Maybe that was the thing that gave Darby Allen enough time to get his bearings together, but Cody's back on the attack yet again. Oh, Darby, oh! Just biting on that. The left hand was a, a soup bowl, and Darby Allen was gnawing on it. Darby knocked back into the ring. Oh! Just yanking on the, the elbow or the, the left arm, bringing him into the to the ropes. Cody just laying in a heap on the apron. Darby Allen was staggering oh, no. there. What is he going? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no! Come on! He should. That'll be the end of it. There's a body bag there, I guess. Darby Allen brought the body bag to the ring. He may leave in it. Oh, retaliation. Oh, the practical. And Cody was trying to level with him there. I don't know if you heard it. Uh, Cody, as Darby fell onto the body bag, he's now going to. Gonna zip him up in his own body bag. Oh man! Closing him by his own petard. Yeah, the referee's got to get that body bag off and out. No. Cody, no, look at oh my! This is just sadistic by Cody. That bag was meant for Cody, but instead it's Darby. Disaster kick. How can she tell if his shoulders are down? You got to get him out of that thing. I think Cody knows that as well. Cody. Spending too much time though. Cover. And no, no. He's up on his feet. He's up on his feet. He drops back down, but the sheer fact that he got up after kicking out of that. He was like a, a bizarre. It's like he was reanimated. Crazy jack in the box. Possessed. Did I hear that right? One minute remaining? And Cody immediately going for a big predicament. Darby kicks out at one. They can hear these men can hear our time cues as well as you can at home and we can. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Aubrey Edwards admonishing Cody Lops not to disqualify him. Cody's frustrated because he hasn't been able to beat Darby oh. Allen. 30 seconds for 30 one. seconds left. He's got to end this. He's, he's pacing around. He's thinking, what's 
what's next? And what's next is Crossroads. Oh, Darby! Counter. Time to counter. Darby knew it was coming. Knee to the head. Oh, over the top. Stunner. Cody staggered. Pulls him back in. There he is. Ladies and gentlemen, the time limit has expired. This is a time limit draw. Wow! What a matchup! How on earth did Darby Allen survive 20 straight minutes of punishment? A lot of these fans are excited about the, uh, the match because it was a great match. Much overachieved what I thought it was going to be, quite frankly, because I didn't know that much about Darby Allen. Cody's asking. Now they want five more minutes. Yeah, they're, they're going to clear cut winner. I Overtime is I the no, chance. I got no problem with that. I'm all about that. Let's get more time on the clock. New Year's Day on TNT. Join the inner circle. Will Moxley make his decision? Choose wisely. And Darby Allen gets his second shot at Cody. All Elite Wrestling on TNT. Wednesday Night Dynamite returns January 1st. Catch up on demand and the app.